Okay, I am here with Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, and he's our keynote speaker here at ASI Orlando this morning. Steve, thanks for joining us. Yeah, great to be here. Beautiful weather, right? Beautiful weather, I'm all enthused. I hear the crowd is enthused. It's gonna be a great day. It's an SRO crowd in there, so you will have a good one for sure. Uh, now, our audience is mostly entrepreneurs, and they're looking for ways to stand out in their business today. So what kind of uh, tips or strategies do you have that can give them uh, to innovate in their business? Um, you know, I, I love thinking about that all the time, but I'm mostly like a consumer and I love to buy little gadgets and little goodies and things like that. And I also think of a lot of the trinkets that I get at trade shows and places like that. And I don't know, I don't know the formulas. I'm not an advertiser, I'm not marketing. You know, I'm more an engineer. So I grab little products and I like things that are very low cost and do something unusual that people don't know about, but it helps me all the time. For example, like I came in last night, I flew in and my bags are on the turnstile and I have a little remote control in my pocket. And I press the button and my bag goes beep, 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 and I know which oh, bag is mine. Very you nice. Know, little things like that. Or, um, I also like, <clears throat> every once in a while, you know, in your tours, as you accumulate a lot of these small little items and all that, the ones that stand out in your head are the ones that work well. Absolutely. You know, it's like a lot of people might, might have in their companies, they might sell to employees or give employees gifts of thermos bottles, you know, and I tell you, one of my companies gave me one that the thermos bottle keeps it hot for two days. <laughs> I don't know, it's a better than average thermos. You right, don't forget right. those things. Right. Now, I, I know you're a, a technology kind of pro prognosticator, so what do you think is going to be big, uh, say, this year or even moving forward? What are, what are people going to need and use as they move forward? Uh, people tend to use what they see in the news a lot. And in the news a lot, we've been hearing about wearables and smart watches, and it's hard to tell how much it's catching on. Are they in our way, like the little Bluetooth headsets we right. all used to always hear about, and then we discarded them. Um, that's one of the things. We hear about Internet of Things that are things in our houses. Appliances are going to get smarter and smarter and maybe start talking to each each other and um, that's gonna progress for a long time but it's uh, it's a little bit stalled I think we've got a, we've got a few gadgets that worked out and um, um, self-driving cars cars that are smarter and smarter and don't let you move into if there's somebody in your blind spot and now you've scared me with the idea of self-driving cars so is well, that going to happen in our lifetime of course it is, yeah. but partially it's already happened in a lot of vehicles that you know have awareness sensors and if somebody walks in front of your car or there's a collision about to happen, they see things you don't see as a human sure. and, and start breaking right away and preparing for them. So already that's a, that's, a, that's a big thing that's oncoming and eventually cars that just you know can notice people walking, they can see um, speed signs, everything. Oh, it's going to relieve us of driving, but then again, it's like a calculator. It relieves you of using your brain <laughs> to think, and, and what can you do in an emergency? <laughs> right, of course. Okay, before I let you go, I know a few years ago you were on the Dancing with the Stars program, and you told me in a previous conversation you learned a good lesson from that. So what is that that you learned from appearing on that television show? Uh, I learned a lot of lessons. One lesson I learned is that if you work so hard at something that is very difficult for you, it's very rewarding. Very good. Well, a great message from our keynote speaker here. Steve Wozniak, go get them today, and, uh, and good luck, and thanks for being here. Thank you. All right, from, from ASI Orlando with Steve Wozniak, I am Andy Cohen.